aspirations every time somebody comes into play. Remember that uh, the MDC came out of the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Union, which was an ally of ZANU PF. Is that right? Yes. And uh, after a while, they decided that, you know what, things were not working. And the MDC came out of that. By the way, the ZCTU used to be led by Albert Mugabe, Albert Mugabe's brother. So why do I say that uh, when people say that about me, that's actually uh, insulting Morgan Shangirai? I say that because I have never served in ZANU PF. I have never held office in ZANU PF. I have never held a card from ZANU PF. There are people in the opposition who have, and we receive them on the basis of merit, not on the basis of where they came from. Uh, you know. What, what, I, I'm not going to dignify the things that uh, people say who actually themselves might be from the Central Intelligence Organization. Uh, I have no way to confirm that the people who say that are themselves not a ZANU PF project. <laughs> you know. So I'm not going to be preoccupied with that. Look, the Zimbabwean people know what they are going through. They know. They know the potholes that are out there. They know. They know if you go right now to Headcliffe and you see what is going on that you know there's no there hasn't been running water in some of those communities for the past i don't know 15 years they know and, and when it rains that some of the sewage flowing on the streets is actually going into the wells that people have done and then people drink it and they actually don't have medical attention to deal with the consequences of that they know that uh, i'm also i think i'm old enough and have gone through enough to understand the occupation that uh, people who are themselves not doing with pulling to Morgan Shangirai. When you say someone who has never actually worked for the government, has never held his NPF card, is actually working for the government. Because people like Shangirai actually have a record of having partners with ZANU-PF. But we don't dismiss that. We don't hold that against them. Because we realize that, hey, you know what? You work in the system and you get your awakening and you come out and you say, look, you know, I know what goes on, on, on in there. It's time for us to, to change. Let me just add another thing. I actually think that it's that preoccupation with casting aspersions that has caused us to be in the mess that we are in for 37 years. Because there were people early on in the history of Zimbabwe who tried to warn us. <coughs> One of them was Justice Enoch Tumujena. He was the Chief Justice of this country. Well, and there's an OPF member. And they came out and they said, look, guys, <laughs> you know, we need to wake up. Where we are going, this government is really going to repress civil liberties. And all of us said, ah, Jena, eh. <laughs> and we laughed at the jokes that were said about, about him, uh, you know, from the highest office. Tegere came along and said the same things. And some of the, ah, you know, Tegere, he must be used by, by, by Zanu PF. And then there were jokes about him, ah, there's no pain, that's yet, and so on. And we laughed. And we have an increasing number of people who have been warning us as a country, and then uh, you know, and then there are these uh, you know aspirations that are cast. But you know what? It doesn't it doesn't phase us.